Soviets Ducato might not be the first name on your LCV shortlist for a large van, but the latest, much improved Series 8 model definitely merits your attention, with enhanced multi-jet 3 diesel power and a full EV option too. Spun off the same platform as the Peugeot Boxer, the Vauxhall Movano and the Citroen Relay, the Ducato continues to score in four key areas. Robustness, low running costs, a wide range of body options and load area flexibility. And now offers a fifth attribute, increased cabin sophistication with impressive media connectivity. Fiat has established itself as a center of excellence for diesel engine technology and the latest Euro 60 multi-jet 3 engines that are found under the bonnets of this improved Ducato reinforce that reputation. Uh, as usual in a van, diesel is the only combustion option. Uh, the whole range is based around the same 2.3 litre multi-jet engine, improved for efficiency, refinement and durability, uh, developing either 120, 140 horsepower, as in this case 160 or 180 horsepower, and usually supplied with the six-speed manual gearbox that we're trying here. Providing you avoid the entry-level unit, optional with this revised Series 8 model is a new 189 uh, ZF 9-speed automatic gearbox with three driving modes, uh, normal, eco and power. Uh, that torque converter gearbox is far better than the previous rather jerky robotized auto. The only powertrain that this Fiat shares with its Peugeot, Citroen and Vauxhall Stellantis Group uh, LCV design counterparts is that used in the full electric e Ducato, which is offered in two battery sizes, 47 kilowatt hour, uh, which has a 120 mile range, or 79 kilowatt hour, which has a 192 mile range. Uh, the 47 kilowatt hour model gets to 30 miles an hour in under six seconds and has a top speed of 62 mph. On the move, we've been impressed with the supple ride and the relatively easy manoeuvrability of this uh, Series 8 model. Uh, vans this big are rarely this easy to drive. A key change with this revised model is the redesigned electric power steering system. Uh, it's claimed to be more precise and manageable in all driving and load conditions. Uh, it has a smaller steering wheel uh, with a reduced turning circle too. The Ducato remains recognisable, but a bit more contemporary looking in this improved form. The front now has a bolder look, featuring a smarter Fiat badge at its centre. That's flanked by uh, restyled three-section headlamp units, which can now feature full LED beams. The engine housing and the skid plates have been redesigned too. You may also want these optional front fog lamps. As we told you elsewhere in this film, the Ducato panel van can be had with three heights and in five different body lengths. And inside, well, this sixth generation Ducato design may be getting on for a decade old, but it'll feel pretty current if you've got a spec like this one, including the two new optional screens that Fiat's added into the cab of this Series 8 model. Now, the seats are better with this revised Ducato, with a more contemporary look, smarter padding, and offering more space and comfort. You can't fault the cabin for stowage options either. Uh, there are two glove boxes with an open recess between them, plus there are three storage levels and a bottle holder in each of the restyled door cards. And you get lots of space beneath the two-person passenger bench, uh, plus there's also a cubby under the climate controls with a cup holder to the left of it. These full-height twin rear doors open conventionally, but uh, we would want to specify instead the optional 270-degree feature, which allows you to fold them back along the vehicle sides. Now, depending on variant, uh, cargo capacity varies between 8 and 17 cubic metres. This 35 LH2 variant offers 13 cubic metres of volume, a load length of 3,705 mils, and a load width of 1,870 mils. Gross vehicle weights range between 3,340 and 4,170 kilos. Choose the e Ducato and you'll find no practicality compromises with the underfloor battery installation. There's the usual sliding side door with the option of another on the other side. And if you use this to swallow really heavy loads, then you want to choose the right payload variant. There are Ducato payload options of up to 2.1 tonnes. This 35 LH2 variant can take up to 1,472 kilos. 
Class competitive efficiency figures are promised with panel van CO2 emissions as low as 204 grams per kilometer and a combined cycle fuel economy figure of up to 36.2 miles per gallon. Obviously, those figures will vary with body size and engine output, but you can improve them by adding in an extra cost eco pack. Uh, the diesel unit has 30,000 mile service intervals to help lower service bills and reduce time the vehicle spends off the road for maintenance. As for the alternative full electric e Ducato, well, we gave you that version's range figures in our driving section. Uh, the base 47 kilowatt hour derivative takes two hours, 25 minutes to charge via AC or DC chargers. Uh, the bigger battery 79 kilowatt hour e Ducato, well, that takes four hours to charge. A wider range of derivatives gives this vehicle one advantage over its Citroen, Peugeot and Vauxhall design stablemates. But a more significant differentiating factor lies with the multi-jet diesel engines, which remain exclusive to this model. Here, usefully improved in more efficient multi-jet 3 form. You can see why Fiat doesn't want to share them. It's all indicative of the way that this Italian brand has clearly thought long and hard about what operators actually want. Take things like this improved model's media connectivity and autonomous driving tech, for example. As a result, if your business is in the market for a large van, then it may very well be that you really need to go for an Italian.